if there was a competition where every swimmer in the world swam 50 freestyle versus Emre Saki swimming breaststroke, Saki would beat more than 99% of humans in 24 seconds and 95 hundredths. This debate over what's faster breaststroke or freestyle reached its peak in the year 1844. Some people have told us that they swim faster breaststroke than freestyle. Let's see how people are swimming breaststroke so fast and the four common mistakes stopping you from moving this fast. Even the best breaststrokers come to a full stop after each stroke. The legs don't move half of the time. The head and part of the chest come out of the water vertically. The knees create incredible resistance that stops all progress. So how can people swim breaststroke so fast? In breaststroke, the most important thing is the speed of the legs. When Denise tried to swim breaststroke, she realized that she was not moving forward. Although her arms are relatively correct, the legs have two of the most common mistakes. The correct position of the ankles is in dorsiflexion when extending the legs and in plantar flexion the rest of the time. Denise does exactly the opposite. She spends several days out of the pool trying to correct this coordination error. Unlike backstroke, in this movement it is not necessary to correct one side at a time, since both legs do the same thing at the same time. Watching videos, she also realizes that the feet should be pointing outwards when extending the legs. She finally corrects it and starts moving, but she finds the second most common mistake. She spreads her knees too wide before and during the kick. When kicking with your knees open, you have much less power. If you don't believe it, just do a squat with a wide stance and one with a closer stance. If we look at Amber Saki's kick from a front angle, we can see how narrow his knees are. In our swimming camps, many people think they correct this mistake until they see their videos. Our favorite exercise to correct this is the pool boy between the legs. I think the most impressive thing about Saki and the other fast breaststrokers like him is the speed of the knees. To have that speed, you need to develop strength in the flexion and extension of the hips, knees and ankles in extreme, medium and short ranges of motion. And that's exactly what I've been doing these last four months. It seems that the results are significant considering the short time I have specifically been working on those areas. A year ago we posted a video where my brother and I competed in a 25 meter breaststroke starting from the turn. We finished at the same time, 17 seconds and 31 hundredths. I swam again today and finished it in 16 seconds and 68 one hundredths, an improvement of 3.63%. It is important to mention that although I know breaststroke technique very well, I have swam a total of approximately 500 meters in the last year, which means that it is probably not an improvement in my technique, only in strength, but I will continue to strengthen the extension and flexion of the hips, knees and ankles and we'll do a video specifically dedicated to that with better results. Denise now has the correct kicking technique, but she makes the third most common mistake, pulling the elbows too far back. Saki brings the elbows a maximum of 10 centimeters behind the shoulder line, but it is too difficult to know the position of your elbows. So think about it this way. His hands don't go any further back than his face. So if you're swimming breaststroke and you no longer see your hands, it means that you're probably pulling your arms too far back. Unlike the kick, the arms do open sideways and wide. They also go down to bring the head above the surface, but the arm movement is short from a lateral point of view. Denise makes great progress, but Aaron is struggling a lot. He has the fourth classic mistake. Although his pull and kicking techniques are decent, he kicks and pulls at the same time. The timing is even more important in breaststroke than in any other stroke. This is the ideal timing of the kick and pull. The pull is first. At the moment the hands come together, the head and the chest are out of the water. When extending the arms, the legs make their triple flexion. Then you extend the legs with the feet pointing sideways and the ankles in dorsiflexion. The head enters when the arms are out of the way. The duration of the glide depends on the distance of the event. There is more glide in the 200, less in the 100 and almost none in the 50. But in all three cases, the body is completely extended. If you swim breaststroke with good timing and strong kick, you will be much faster. But why would you even want to swim breaststroke fast? Isn't breaststroke just a stroke to relax? How did it become one of the four competitive strokes? The English believed that this was the fastest way to swim 
for a long time. It was also the easiest one to teach since you can have your head out the whole time. They even held a competition in 1844 against some Native Americans. The Native Americans used a version of front crawl similar to our arrow technique. They did an exhibition first to see their style of swimming. According to legend, once the natives got tired of competing amongst themselves, they put an Englishman to swim breaststroke against the tired freestylers. The breaststroker beat them and the English continued to use breaststroke for another 50 years. The first man to cross the English Channel was Matthew Webb, using only breaststroke. In modern times, in 1987, the first man to go under a minute in the 100 breaststroke short course was the English Adrian Morehouse, taking advantage of the new rule that allowed the head to be completely submerged. And in more recent times, the first man to break the 58 and the 50 second barrier was the Englishman Adam Peaty. I think the English still believe that breaststroke is faster than freestyle, and honestly, in some cases, it is true. Hey, Aaron doesn't know the rules of breaststroke. He spent an hour trying to figure out how to swim faster, and he discovered that it's better to return the arms to the front above the water. A. Aaron accidentally discovered butterfly swim, but that's the topic of the next video. If you want to know why swimming backstroke helps you improve your freestyle, click on this video. See you there. Swim fast.